Happy New Year, everybody. This is Brian, and this is the year in review for 2021. 2022 is right around the corner. I'm going to level with you. I've tried making this video about a dozen times, and I keep getting tongue-tied or twisted or rambling, or I have the wrong slide up, and it's just been that kind of year. So 2021, I'm glad to see you go. It's been a rough one. Oh, man. Usually when I do these, I have one or two tabs, but you can see I have all of these tabs. I'll try to not ramble and plow through these fairly quickly. In case you're wondering what this is, it's a year in review. There's no code. I'm going to talk about what I've done and my plans for the future. And typically what I'll do is I'll go back and use this as like a video diary and say, hey, I did that. Or I go, oh, I did that. Yeah, let's take a look. First and foremost, COVID. Oh, wow. I mean, just... I'm at a loss for words. I mean, China back in 2019 going, hey guys, we're building two hospitals in under 24 hours for this new cold flu thing, but nothing to panic about. You know, 14 days to flatten the curve. Yeah, it's been about two years now, and uh, it's changed the shape, I think, everybody's life. And I've got severe asthma, so I did get vaccinated, and um, I'm going to level with you. I hated these vaccines. I got Moderna. The first shot was horrible. The second shot, I thought I was going to die, and the booster was somewhere between horrible and thought I was going to die. It was bad. It was very rough for me. However, I also, like I said, I have bad asthma and I took myself off my asthma medication. Um, I just didn't like the side effects. I was taking, um, what's it called? Zyrtec or Citrazine. It's like a 24 hour antihistamine. And this has been a rough year asthma wise. I think I'm going to go back to pulmonologist and get on some correct medication. It's just been brutal. Um, I got married in 2019, and this is pre-COVID, so you can see, you know, we're there and everybody's happy. And, well, clearly I like cupcakes. You, can, I mean, I had a cupcake cake. Clearly I like cupcakes. I gained a little bit more weight than I'd wanted to. And just getting older, you slow down, the weight starts packing on. So I put myself on a diet, and I exercise, you know, five, six days a week, and I've lost 65 pounds. So I look way different now than I did in this picture. And then immediately after marriage, our world changed. COVID-19, Black Lives Matter, all this crazy stuff starts happening. It just seems like seems like a science fiction movie. You turn on the news and every day there's something else. Um, BLM, for example, I, I like the original message that Black Lives Matter. I don't like the way the BLM organization executed that. I think that it has become synonymous with violence and riots, and I don't think it had the impact they wanted. I think it's it's really had a negative message, unfortunately. And that's a shame because I think their message, their original message was a positive one. But that, of course, opened up other riots, like people are rioting because of COVID restrictions. I mean, no one wants to wear a mask. No one wants to socially distance. People are pissed off that, you know, their favorite restaurants are closed or they can't get into the restaurant unless they show proof of vaccination. And some countries now, at the time of this recording, are actually mandating vaccinations. So that's scary. That's some crazy sci-fi horror movie stuff right there. People come into your home and holding you down and injecting you with things. And, of course, people are now rioting for, well, anything they are upset about. Like, they don't want to pay rent. I'm sorry, folks. Rent is just part of life. You have to pay your rent. I do get that cancel rent. They just wanted their rent canceled while they were, you know, originally in lockdown, didn't have a job. But some groups do take this to an extreme. It's really hard to explain all of these other slides to our younger generation. Like here's the the grandkids in this one. Adriana, she cracks me up. Um, Sante, he's, I don't know what he's doing with that napkin. But anyways, their world, their childhood is fundamentally changed, and it's extremely worrying as an adult trying to explain this to them. So every time I get a chance and I get to hang out with these kids, I just try to, you know, show them some good times, make them happy, make them forget about, you know, all the craziness in the world. And then, of course, we went through a presidential election the previous year with Donald Trump being outed and Biden being voted in. And I've had a lot of people tell me flat out they voted for Biden specifically because he was not Trump. And well, they got exactly what they voted for. This has been, in my humble opinion, a horrible, pre I almost said pregnancy. That's how many times I've tried doing this video. It's been a horrible presidency. Um, he just mentally, he's got dementia or something's wrong with him. I don't 
maybe they're adjusting his meds or something, but it just seems like every time he gets on camera, he has no idea what he's talking about. He rambles and says things that make absolutely no sense. And uh, I mean, the news, even the major news outlets are really slamming Harris because she's just nowhere to be found. I mean, they've said, where is our vice president? What's going on? She just won't even get in front of camera. And when she does, she's just equally as nutty. So that's just nuts. I've never seen this country as messed up as this in my entire life. And it makes me get this face thinking about our future. But it couldn't get worse, could it? I mean, honestly? A lot of people are going to say, hey, you're pro-Trump or you're pro-Biden. I'm, I'm not. I'm not pro-anybody. I hate all politicians equally. They all lie to just get into office. I think some of them, when they start their political career, have the best of intentions. But as they mature in their career, they realize they have to lie in order to get what they want. And then when they do get what they want, oh, we sorry, guys, can't do that or really didn't mean that. Now, in his defense, Biden has done some of the things that he set off to do, but other things I think he's just gone way off the rocker. Again, couldn't possibly get worse, could it? So this is not me and my wife, but this is a good representation of our year. We've just been sitting on the couch, watching movies and playing video games and trying to avoid all of the other nastiness that I've just covered. And it's been kind of a... I hate to say it, it's been a boring year, but at the same time, it's been a very stressful one. Um, it just seems like you can't go to you know, your favorite hangout spot without it either being closed or completely booked to the point you got to make reservations six months in advance. And, of course, the price of everything has shot literally through the roof. It's ridiculous. I was going to build this desk for my office, and this desk originally was going to be like maybe 200 bucks max. Now it would be like it'd be like fifteen hundred dollars for this thing. It's ridiculous. I'm just gonna have to wait. So all the rambling and complaining aside, what have I been doing? Well, I've been focusing on Udemy. I've gotten a lot more students, a lot more reviews. Thank you if you left a review. In the first seven months, literally the first seven months of this year, all I did was record. I did beginners for Qt6, intermediate for Qt6, and advanced. Again, I did those in seven months. And this course right here in version five took me nine months. I did this course in under a month. That's just how much I was recording. But it, I think it kind of burnt me out a little bit. I've just kind of like lost that spark or desire to record. It's kind of hard to describe. It's like I, I pull my new Blue Yeti microphone up and I'm just like, oh, I just don't want to do this right now. So I'm, I'm trying to slow down on these and play some video games. And I'm growing the Void Realms group. I shouldn't say I'm growing. Actually, all the members and the admins are really growing it. Um, I'm not good with this administrative panel here, so forgive me. Yeah, this is the last month. Let's go the last 60 days. And you just see, boom! I mean, we're gaining a lot of members. Um, it's good and bad, right? I mean, we have a lot more interaction, a lot more people. But at the same time, it does seem to get like kind of crazy because you get a lot of people asking questions. And I do realize in terms of Facebook, this is a smaller group, but that's really what its intention was to be a small group of highly functional and intelligent programmers that could work together. And of course, I've been working on YouTube. I've been trying to put out videos as I can, but you know, all this other craziness has kind of gotten in the way. I've been trying to do about a video a week and it just hasn't worked out lately. I've just been so busy. I'll try to keep up on it, but you see, I've been really focusing on cute. I do want to get back into Python and other things as well. And eventually I want to merge Python and Qt together. Um, it's kind of funny. I've been told people love these Python videos, but nobody's really watching them compared to my other videos. I, I suspect it because there's so many Python instructors out there. Anyways, one good positive is this is the year. I've been saying it for years that I would redo the Void Realms website, and I actually did it. So here it is. I actually like it. I did it in WordPress. It's pretty funny. It just, I put this together in an afternoon and I, I think it's kind of neat. I've got the links to the GitHub source, YouTube, Udemy, and Medium. I started doing blogging a little bit. So once in a while, I'll go out there and just write a blog. But overall, this year has made me tired. I need a cup of coffee and I need a nap. That's why I'm recording this two weeks early because I'm going to take some time off and I'm going to ring in the New Year's nice and relaxed with an alcoholic beverage in my hand. Anyways, 
Happy New Year's, everybody. I hope this year has treated you a little bit better than it's treated me, and I really look forward to 2022 being a much, much better year. Hope to see you there.